Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me if I do field sobriety exams but refuse breath. How does the state prove that I'm DUI? In order to prove DUI, the state has to establish two things beyond a reasonable doubt. The first is that you are in actual physical control of a motor vehicle. And the second is that at that time, you either had a BAC of 0.08 or higher, or that you were under the influence of alcohol or a controlled substance to the extent that your normal faculties were impaired. Most times, actual physical control or APC is not at issue. But the second element, were you intoxicated or impaired, that's usually the only issue. To prove this, the state needs one of two things. Either A, tangible evidence that your BAC was 0.08 or higher, which can only come from a breath or a blood test, or B, circumstantial proof that you were under the influence of alcohol or a controlled substance to the extent that your normal faculties were impaired. If you blow 0.08 or higher, then you yourself will have armed the state with physical scientific evidence that establishes a presumption of impairment. You can cross-examine or offer your own evidence in rebuttal, but if the jury buys the breath card, then it's game over. If you refuse, absent the existence of other damning physical evidence like an open container or a bag of weed or loose pills in your car, then as to breath, the state's going to have a circumstantial case. As to field sobriety tests, the case remains circumstantial, meaning the jury has to rely on nothing more than the officer's observations and conclusions, unless, of course, there's a video. If there's a video of your FSTs, then that physical evidence is going to speak for itself. And better or worse, it's going to speak quite loudly. Cops will always loud the overwhelming odor of alcohol, bloodshot watery eyes, slurred speech, and the reason that you were stopped. If you take field sobriety tests, whether on video or not, the cops are also going to be able to talk about your inability to follow their simple instructions or to perform the standards on their basic tests. And believe me, some police witnesses are very good and very convincing at this testimony. Thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. We'll be putting out more soon.